Hey my friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Dina, I am the Thrifty Junker. And um, just running around this morning doing some errands. I'm getting ready to get my hair done. Gotta go to the post office and drop off a package. And then I'm going to do a haul video for you. I also wanted to show you this in my uh, vehicle. Um, well, I have one of the seats up, but it is cram packed with stuff. Um, I did a haul um, yesterday and bought way more stuff than I needed. Uh, but you know, when it's cheap, you know, you need it. Um, and then I had a friend who um, gave me some free stuff like a large, heavy trash bag, like 55 gallon trash bag, and two other kitchen trash bags full of free stuff for me to flip. So, free, if it's free, it's for me. You cannot beat that price. So anyway, um, that will not be in my haul video, but I will be getting to that eventually because it's gonna take me a while to go through it all and stuff, so anyway, just wanted to uh, start this video out here and I will see you after my hair is done. Here it is. All done. I wish it took like two seconds instead of two hours, but well, let's go do some hauls. my friends Dina here the thrifty junker so um, I wanted to start um, a haul video I have a, a huge amount of um, items in this haul so I'm gonna start it um, kind of go through everything and then I will um, have to clear this off and reload it and then I will um, continue it so anyway uh, this is my fourth video so if you um, are just now checking it out thank you for being here again my name is Dina and I um, am calling myself the thrifty junker so um, let's get started with this haul so this haul was from a um, Goodwill yes it was a Goodwill a local Goodwill um, here in my town um, and so um, yeah I filled my cart uh, this day uh, with lots of goodies. So um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know um, I do pick up Pampered Chef items, especially if they're new in the box because um, Pampered Chef can be um, a high dollar amount to buy it new. So people look for this on um, eBay, Macari, stuff like that. So this is a cake decorating uh, bottle set. Um, it does come with the brush. Um, this one does look like it maybe it has been used like once, but it does still have um, the product card in it. So if you can find them with the product card, um, it tells about the product, how to clean it. Um, it also has recipes in it usually. So if you can find them with a product card, that's always a good thing. Um, so uh, this little guy here, um, I looked for it on eBay. On eBay, it's selling um, anywhere from six to eight dollars. Um, which isn't much. I paid a dollar seventy nine, I believe, for this. Uh, yeah, a dollar seventy nine. But I also sell on over on Macari, and um, so I always check um, both uh, platforms before I uh, list it. And over on Macari, I've sold a ton of Pampered Chef stuff, and it goes really, really good. So over on Macari, um, there the sold comps are anywhere from eight to twenty-two dollars. Um, so um, definitely, if you sell on multiple platforms, check out the other platforms to uh, make sure you're getting the better better deal. Because on eBay, sometimes the the market is saturated and things are just sitting there. Where over on Macari, um, they only may have one or two items, um, and I seem to sell things uh, like this a little bit faster over there so tip for you there uh, this guy here is a very vintage um, digital uh, multiple digital uh, tester uh, multi-tester and so um, I did test this it does work it actually does turn on um, and um, I did look at the back um, and and somebody this is this is very um, 
known um, for older people, they will etch their initials. Um, I've noticed in their um, tools and stuff. So, um, so this still has the instructions. It has the warranty card in. I wonder if I can still get the warranty on this. I just bought it. Um, so anyway, this is, um, I don't know how old it is, um, but there was only one, um, one of these on eBay. Uh, it was listed for $20 or actually $30. I'm, um, no, so sold comps. So I may check over on, um, Macari. I don't know if something like this would go over, go over well over there, but, um, it does work. Um, I did test it and did not electrocute myself. So, all right. Next thing I have is just a small, uh, cute little kitchen sign. I will probably throw this in my booth for, um, I spent $2.99. Uh, 279 something like that. Um, I'll probably be put this in my booth for uh, I don't know five to seven dollars. So If you didn't know I do have a vendors booth at the vendors village. Um, I did just um, Do a video about my my booth. So if you haven't checked that out go back and look at my third video I just um, Did that a little bit a couple days ago and so uh, make sure you check that video out, too. And make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me so much to grow um, and be seen by more people. So I appreciate if you do that. Uh, next, um, this is a University of Kentucky hat um, with a wildcat on it. Uh, this, uh, we, I do live in southern Indiana, which is very near to Kentucky, um, just across the river. And um, we have uh, two big... Um, Colleges in Kentucky that are very big rivals. We have the Louisville Cardinal uh, U of L Cardinals and we have the um, the Kentucky Wildcats um, and so um, This is a very um, Cool hat. Um, it's kind of a mesh um, Material and it is new with tags I did pay 99 cents. Actually, I got a 10% off. I always get 10% off if I spend so much. So it's probably about 79 cents. Um, so, and these comps are anywhere from like 20 to 35 bucks. So um, I did not see any of this type um, on eBay. So it will probably go, I will probably list it at a higher um, price. So very cool find there, um, especially um, it's an NCAA and um, still got the little foil thing on the front. So yeah, very, very good find there. Oh, drop something. Okay, so this is a Dandy. I'll show you the tag here if you can. So that is a Dandy. Um, this is a interactive um, horse. I, I did test this out. It does work. Um, I'll put a video um, at the end of this. Um, showing you uh, this cute thing what it does but it does um, hop uh, walk um, and it neighs and it um, so it's very animated um, pretty cool now um, comps on these were hard to find because I did not find this uh, specific color um, they have a Christmas one that goes for uh, quite a bit more like 25 uh, dollars and, and so they sold a lot around Christmas um, but this one I did not see this color so I may um, list it up a little bit um, I do need to it looks like I need to probably comb out the tail and the mane a little bit that is pretty uh, matted um, but cute little interactive horse uh, you squeeze this little area here and it does its little thing so I'll, uh, I'll add that to the end here. Um, I did pay about four, four something for this. Um, and, um, I'll probably list it for anywhere from 20, $25. So cute little thing. Next, this little thing, um, I bought this probably for personal use. Um, I am big into fair trade and, um, um, things that are made around the uh, around the country. Um, I don't know where this was made. It does not have a tag It's been actually cut off which I hate um, but this is like a silk um, 
elephant and it's like a pillow it's got a little braided tail very cute um, I actually saw this like a week ago and I did not pick it up and it haunted my dreams I kept thinking about this thing so I went back and luckily it was still there um, again it's made out of all these different pieces of like silk uh, oriental type um, material um, so very 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 cool so I'm probably gonna keep this because I um, I love stuff like this so anyway I paid oh, I don't even know what I paid for it because the tag is it's not there the numbers not there so I don't know I don't even know what I paid for it but I'm sure it was only a couple bucks, if that. Next, I found this uh, Golden Girls uh, puzzle, 300 piece puzzle. Um, of course, uh, you know Betty White just had her 99th birthday, I believe, or something like that. Um, and so uh, I picked this up. Um, those comps were anywhere from nine to twelve dollars. Um, it is not brand new. Actually, it is brand new. It is sealed. So I can list it as sealed um, so I can get a better price for that. So I'll put the comps up here. This little guy, um, I paid, let's see, this is another dandy um, plush. You see that tag? Um, this one I paid a little, uh, about $1.79 for it. Um, and it is just an adorable little bear with a um, heart box that you can actually put stuff in it. And so I'm probably going to throw this in my booth because it's near Valentine's Day and um, I want to give uh, some somebody an opportunity to uh, put something uh, awesome in there. I don't know, maybe an engagement ring or something like that. So I thought that's, this was very, very cute. And so that will probably go in my vendor booth. All right, back here, this is a squish mallow um, panda. Um, you see the tag on that. And they are just very squishy and soft. Um, this panda, let's see, four, looks like it uh, comped for about around $14. Um, I paid 79 cents for this little guy. Very, very cute. This little guy you seen in the beginning of this video, he is adorable. And um, I'm not gonna turn him on, but um, he does work, obviously. Um, this is a for real pet. Um, and he is a pug, and he's got his little um, dog tag there, um, and he is just adorable. Um, so that one, let's see here, that one, um, anywhere from 14 to $15, and I did, let me see if I can find my tag, I did pay uh, just 79 cents for this as well, so very cute. This, of course, everyone knows is Tigger. Um, he is a Disney, he's a Coles Cares um, edition, which I think they were usually about $5 in Coles. Um, I did pay, um, looks like a little over $2 for him. Um, he's comping for around, actually, I don't know if I found, yeah, I did find some um, t things like this, they're very, um, common so it's hard to find the exact same one um, and so I did find a comp for about ten dollars ten to seventeen dollars um, so um, cute little Tigger who and Disney stuff usually sells very good and speaking of Disney um, so this is a frozen cubed doll so of course it is Disney but it is a let me see if I can get this So it's uh, cubed, see that, C-U-B-D, um, and it's, it's a little cube, plush, um, and so this is um, from the Frozen, I did spend about 79 cents for her, uh, she um, is comping for anywhere from 8 to 9 dollars. And then last, on this part, um, Plush Mickey, of course, Mickey Mouse, like I said, Disney's always do well. Um, it's got his big long tail. 
Um, he is an actual Disney Parks. Um, you can see that. So this came actually from the Disney Parks. So you know somebody paid a big bucks probably for this. This is a uh, standing up. He is a, a 24 inch um, mini pl Mickey plush. I did pay up for him a um, little over three dollars for him, but he will probably sell for anywhere um, thirty-five to fifty. It just depends. Um, but he is in great shape. Um, looks brand new. Um, so yeah, that's that's my Mickey plush. And then of course, I always uh, pick up toy grab bags if I see stuff in here that is um, interesting. There's some um, Thomas the Train. There's um, some Mario. Mario. Uh, Louis, uh, I don't know if it's Luigi. Um, but there's some Mario. There's Hulk. Um, yeah. There's a My Little Pony. I don't know if that's a walkie-talkie or something. So I um, have to investigate that. But so if I see a lot of good things in one bag, I will pick them up because um, you never know. You can um, stick these with all the other ones that you find and uh, make some good money on them. Uh, so this one uh, is a little under $5 for that. A little over $5, I should say. So yeah, so that is the toy grab bag. As you can see this is a different day um, this was such a large haul it was hard for me to get it all in one uh, take um, I had to clear everything off and um, put all this stuff um, out research it and all that good stuff so we're gonna get started here on this end so these are uh, caterpillar uh, women's steel toe work shoes um, and they um, range anywhere from 30 to 90 dollars um, listed um, and so, um, these are in really good condition. This is a size eight and a half. Um, so if you know anybody that needs, um, some work shoes, um, these are, um, in really good shape. Um, and they did have insoles in them. So the insoles that are in here are really clean and, um, not worn very well. Um, these are a pair of, um, Clark's, um, Helio Mind Minden, I think is what they were, uh, the, the style was called. Um, and, uh, those, um, I do have a comp for some brown ones that sold for around, uh, $30, I believe it was. Um, there's several different black ones listed. Um, these are just a, a nice little wedge in great shape. Um, I did pay, um, $4.99 looks like maybe. I think yeah $4.99 for these um, so uh, and Clark's are always a good shoe to pick up they're um, usually a very um, nice shoe and comfortable shoe um, these are size seven and a half and uh, again look look barely uh, worn um, and um, hopefully when it starts getting warm again um, these will go really quick um, the Caterpillar ones I paid up for those. I think I paid around 13 for those. And then these are Adidas um, Hoops 2.0. Uh, they, um, I paid $8.99 for those. Um, they're in pretty good shape. Uh, they, I'll probably clean them up just a little bit. Um, but those are going um, anywhere from um, $23 to $32 um, is the sold comps on those. Back here, um, this is just a little wire basket that I picked up for like 89 cents. Um, I thought about putting it in my booth um, and maybe if there's things that I can put in here and just hang it on the wall. Um, it's just something I thought would be handy if I needed it. So that will probably be personal use or business use if I use it in my booth. Um, these were just a bunch of address labels. Um, these can be very, really, really expensive if you buy them um, at the um, office supply stores. So whenever I see them, I try to pick them up. 
Um, these are actually business card ones, so I may print some up um, that have all my information on them and put them in my um, packages. And then these are just some square labels. Um, I actually um, may print up some of the um, the little codes um, for my booth or some other links. So this back here is just a cute little um, home decor, little metal tandem bike. I thought it was really cute. Um, there are people that are really into biking and tandem stuff. Um, I didn't see any comps for this one specifically. I did pay like $2.79 for this, um, and it does stand up on its own, um, but um, I may list it for like $14.99 or something like that, or maybe even put it in my booth, so go through some of the glassware. So I'm learning a lot about glassware, trying to watch um, Kat the Nurse Flipper, um, some of the other people that do glassware. Um, it's, it's hard to learn everything, but um, so this is a CMG uh, bowl. It's got really cute rabbits on it. And I thought it'd be cute for Easter coming up. Um, I did only pay like 62 cents for this. Um, I just love the color of it and thought it was really cute. Um, there were some comps um, for another bowl. Um, doesn't have the bunnies, but it had like flowers and it was kind of this color and it was around 15. This is an Avon Presidential Celebration 1976. So this is a vintage Avon. Um, it's a little um, heart trinket box. It's got the pretty roses on it. Um, and those were comping anywhere around $16. There's kind of high and low ones. Um, but I thought that was um, just a neat little vintage thing. This um, I got for $0.62. Cents. It's just a, a mug, um, a faith mug, just an inspirational mug. Um, I don't know if I'll put that in my booth or if I'll keep it because it's really cute. And it's one of my favorite colors too. Um, so this is, of course, milk glass, um, little square candy dish. I did pay $1.79 for this, um, and they are listed anywhere from $4 to $12. So um, if they're on the, if I don't think I'm going to get much for them, then I'll probably, probably put them in my booth just to uh, move them quicker, and then I don't have to ship the glass part. This here is called... Um, where is it at? Houston, Houston Harvest. Ceram it's a ceramic teapot, um, and the lid comes off. And um, it's just a cute little collectible. It's from 2000. Um, I didn't see any exactly like this uh, listed. There is one um, that is the coffee shop, but it's a totally different um, top to it. The top actually looks like it goes this way on the other one so i don't know if they're all made differently um but there there was several on there um the, and they were all different so um i just thought this was cute um i don't know what i'll list it for i don't know that it's going to go for much but i again it may be something that i put in my booth all right this is um west Moreland yellow hobnail it's like an amber yellow candy dish or ashtray it's got the little areas you could use it as an ashtray um, it did I did notice it uh, you can't really tell because the the edges are so um, I don't know what those are called tooth tooth um, but I did fill a couple of chips after the fact, after I got it home. Um, I only paid 89 cents for this. So again, it may be something that I put in my booth. Um, there isn't any listed, I don't think, on uh, eBay right now, so I may just disclose the chips um, and see if it sells. This is a W.S. George Canary Tone, made in the USA show that on the back I don't know if you'll be able to see it it's hard to there you go um Lido um 
I did notice um, a couple of fine, very fine hair cracks. So I'll just have to disclose that or I'll put it in my booth. It's just a really pretty um, flower um, print and it does have, um, it is just a little gravy boat. Like I said, it does have a little crack. You can see it just a little bit. So I'll just disclose that or like I said, put it in my booth. This is a uh, 50th anniversary and there's a, there's a bunch of these on here. Different, um, different years and different, um, different pieces, but they're like got the gold decorations on it. Um, and this is called Lofton China. Um, it does not have the little spoon with it. Um, this has also been called a couple of different things. It was called a jelly, a jelly dish. It was called a miniature gravy boat. Um, so I don't know about you, but there ain't enough gravy going to fit in this little guy for me and my family. Um, maybe some jelly, but gravy now. Gravy's going to have to be a little bit bigger. If we're doing gravy, this ain't even going to do it either. Um, so this is a Harker Ware. You see that? Um, and it's just a little blue gravy boat. I thought that was cute. Um, there is um, several of these listed. Um, and it looks like uh, anywhere from 14 to $28. Um, and then the, this one here, the left hand, it was only, um, comping for like four or five dollars. So that probably wasn't the best buy, but I'll just throw it in my booth. Probably shouldn't throw it, but I'll put it in my booth. Um, and I don't know, see if it goes. Uh, this is probably not a good buy either. I realized after the fact uh, that it's made in China. Um, I thought maybe because it had some of the gold stuff on it that it might be worth a little bit, but I don't know. I, I, I didn't really see much on it, um, but the roses are really detailed. Um, I don't know. Again, it may go in my booth. Now these things back here, um, I used to be into scrapbooking, so um, there's a company called Creative Memories, and they um, are a, um, a multi-level marketing company, but they also, they sell um, all kinds of scrapbooking items um, and tools and um, scrapbooks, pages, all that stuff. So this is a cutting mat, and it does, they do have a special cutting mat system um, that this goes with. And I do have um, one of the cutting um, um, templates that I've got that's brand new um, that I may bundle this with. I've already got it listed over on Macari, but I may take that down and bundle it with this just because um, I may get a little bit more out of it. I paid $2.79 for all of like each one of these. Um, so this is the cutting mat. Um, these are pages to refill the scrapbooks and these are black so they're special um, most of them are white black um, some people use black for special occasions or special scrapbooks um, and the pages will probably sell for around 15 um, ish the page protectors I just sold uh, one of these uh, on Macari for 15 um, so these go over the pages once they've finished scrapbooking um, to protect it. Um, and so um, I, I noticed that um, I, I've sold a lot of Creative Memories over on Macari because it sells for a little bit more than it does on eBay. Um, and so again, I always check each platform to see um, where it's doing better. And then these things are like, they're called shortcuts. Um, so they're different. You can't tell, but these are actually like cut into different shapes and stuff and they're different colors. And so it just makes scrapbooking, throwing a page together a lot quicker. Um, so these are like Rick Rack and zigzags. And this one is like zesty geometric shapes. And, and you can usually see on the front of these what the shapes are in each of the different packages. 
um, so it shows what they are. Um, but these, um, you can bundle those together and probably get 10 to $15 for those. So not a lot of profit, but um, it's something easy for me to list because I know a lot about it. Um, and so I always pick up um, the creative memory stuff too. So, all right, so that's the end of that haul. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like um, and subscribe if you wanna see more. I um, have tons more hauls to, to come. I'll have more um, what solds. Uh, probably in the next couple of days, I'll put another what sold because it's the weekend now and I um, actually sold um, about $175 worth of stuff just yesterday, so that was a really good day. Um, so I'll go through that um, after the weekend and show you all those. So um, again, I hope you um, enjoyed just learning a little bit. Um, I'm enjoying learning more about all the different things, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.